Oh, you're bored? Why don't you piss off and go outside and do something then, you whiny little shit? <laughs> Have you ever heard of the hedgehog's dilemma? It's a, it's a metaphor about, let me see if I can rem remember this right. It's a metaphor about the human, no, it's a metaphor about the challenges of human intimacy. See, hedgehogs, when it gets cold, like other animals, they want to get close to each other to share body heat, to share body heat, but they're, they're covered in spikes, aren't they? So they get close to each other, they're going to prick each other, they're going to hurt each other, they're going to get hurt themselves. So they have to keep a certain distance apart from each other to avoid getting hurt. And people who have been hurt in past relationships, they become like that. They they stop themselves from getting too close to people, from getting emotionally invested in people, so that they, they don't get hurt. And I feel like I'm like that sometimes. So I don't want to get close to you because if I get myself emotionally invested in you, then you might betray me. You might disappear. You might you might do something that hurts me. And I don't want to get hurt because it hurts. But. The problem with that is, yeah, you you prevent yourself from getting hurt, but it's just so damn lonely that you have to decide which is more more bearable, the loneliness or the pain that you might that you might be inflicted by when you get when, <sighs> words. I guess you just have to risk it. I mean, if you don't risk getting hurt. The only other choice is to be alone forever, right? Am I being too much of a downer? Sorry, didn't mean to be too depressing. But it is kind of depressing, it's my last night here. My last night in this... I don't even know what this country is. It's just like a rock in the middle of the sea, isn't it? Isn't it? I just feel like I need to stop travelling. Travelling doesn't solve anything. You think you go to a different country and things might be different, but it's not different. Your mental problems, they follow you. It's like having a, a ball chained to your leg that you can't, can't cut it off. It just follows you everywhere you go. I need to go home. I need to start building foundations back home. I need to start finding some kind of... Something that's fixed, you know? Something that I can focus on like a career or a job even if it's working at McDonald's